everyone and welcome. This is Liz Arm with the Stock Swish and I'm looking at JPM. So I had called puts in this this week on the first day that it gapped down, which was here. And it started to go. We actually day traded this here. It was a nice play of the day. Had a, had a perfect exit. I mean, every once in a while we do get a low of the day exit. Perfect exit here. Then it gapped up the next day. I said, this is crazy. This makes no sense at all. Then it gapped down yesterday, fell, and now it's falling today. And here we are, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting for this to go. I mean, so it's really interesting here because the banks are down and selling off. And the spy made brand new all-time highs today. And I am utterly shocked with the backdrop of the economy and all the negative news that's going on. France closing down. I mean, I could go on and on and on. There's not one positive reason for the market to be making new highs, but this is again why fundamentals sometimes don't match up with the technicals. The SPY is showing strength, but the financials are not, and you can't deny it. I mean, you cannot deny it. So when is this gonna start to break? 151 and then 150. So if this breaks 150, look out below. 148, 147.50, 147, I mean. And the great thing about selling is when you're in shorts, whether they're day trades or whether they're options puts, they can come out of nowhere. They can just fall like that. So we'll see what happens with this here. If this is gonna get a move on, again, very difficult to understand how the financials could be down and the SPY up. Actually, let me look at Tesla. gonna fall. It's not gonna get over 700. Look at that. Nope. Wow. Oh, we're gonna watch it and see. We're gonna watch it and see where this goes and, and the market too. Uh, if you're interested in learning my gap system and trading with me, uh, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. The next class, which will be for earnings season, is April 17th and 18th. Have a great day everyone.